We were all too late. The new Scion, Bridget, she's gone mad. I noticed that she'd been acting strangely, refusing food, talking to herself. Most Scions experience moments of opacity, but this was different. When I questioned her, she grew hostile. I've never seen anything like it. A new magic, flashes of purple light. And then she was gone. Gone! You'll never find Bridget. Not unless you can see the invisible. I don't know. She has slipped free of this world. But I believe that we're all connected, hanging in the web of fate's grand design. There is an answer in the woven patterns. I just know it. Farewell. Cycle the second, the Alphar. You would not enjoy the awkward scrambles needed to traverse this isle, my love. They are treacherous. I must resemble the tumblers we witnessed in Sun Camp all those many nights ago. What do you seek, child? Bridget is gone. She resisted me at first, surrendered when she realized how painful I could be. Kel was correct. These villages. So young, so foolish, and you, I see how you move through the world, how you tear through the threads of fate, where I only weave them. What are you? He said you'd find me in time, and here you are. It takes much to earn the gaze of dead Kel, child. 
You must truly be special. No, not yet. But it will end soon enough. Dead Kel will receive the blessing of Akara, even if it means that I must gain it first. No one shall stand in our way. Not man, not God. Well, then. <coughs> I didn't know. How could I? All scions grow distant. They bear too much responsibility. They are only human. My poor Bridget. All she wanted was to serve Akara, and he allows this to happen. What is his protection worth if he can't stop one witch? Whatever shall we do now? 
The offering is upon us, but we have no one to offer. I don't know. I am shaken, as is my faith. We here on Gallows End are a fragile few. We have always survived by the grace of Akara. I weep for the loss of my wife, but I tremble for the loss of my god. You? There are others who waited a lifetime for the opportunity, only to have another chosen. But you did have the vision to discover Dead Kel's plot, and the strength to defeat the witch. Is there anyone more worthy of Akara's blessing? Yes, this is what must be done. Go to the ruins on the northern mountain and claim our people's birthright. There is no other way. The offering is held at the top of the northern mountain, in the ancient ruin called the Ring of the Watcher. Lo, we sing of good kings shipborne and stout, from fasting waked and white wind whispered. He was Ulfstan chief, father of foundlings, boasted and beloved. With bitter mandate, they laid him upon a serpent steed. Kin kissed the brow and wept, tears into the flames, until mournful billow and scarlet banner bore him north, treasures heavy upon his heart. The great blaze bloomed, jewel bright and wild, a dark night lit by kingly fire. Where have you been? Everyone is waiting for Alder's wife to come up here and do something. Not sure what, exactly. They said that the new Scion is meant to enter the ring of the Watcher and accept the blessing of Akara. Whatever that means. Don't look at me. I've never done this before either. They're waiting for you.
Why do you wound me, stranger? The Alphar despise me, the gnomes fear me, but with you I have no conflict. My ship, my crew, my island, you've taken everything. But you will not have the blessing of Akara. It is my birthright. Have you ever tasted death, my friend? Have you felt her sweet lips upon your cheek? I was a dead man. I had finally found the peace that had always escaped me in life. But then Akara brought me back, took my hand and fished me from my slumber. I did not choose to be... this. When Akara learned what I truly am, he abandoned his creation, leaving me to walk this earth in anguish. He owes me. Scion, it is a meaningless title. Don't let these fools blind you. They know nothing of Akara, only what he chooses to show them. There is no Scion. There is only the power and the one who receives it. As long as I walk this island and sail those blue waters, I will seek what is rightfully mine. No one tells dead Kel when to die. Not Akara, not you. That is one power I still possess. <laughs> I've never flown the white flag, and I will not start now. It betrays cowardice, and the Craven are always the first to the bottom. You will pay for what you've done. If Akara will not give me his blessing, then I will tear it from your still-beating heart. The Baronet is eager to meet you, especially after what you did to his friends. Uh, uh, uh. to see me? The truth is that you drew me here, not Akara. I've tried time and again to see your path, to read your weave, but I find nothing in the magic. Yet I have seen something new all on my own. It is hope, an opportunity to end the threat of dead Kel once and for all. That is what the Scion is meant to be. What you are. You are Akara's attempt to fix his own mistake. Go now, deep into Akara Tor, but do not go alone. You're destined to be joined by another. 
Alda's daughter? Yes, it is right that she go with you. Akara has torn her family to pieces. She will want revenge. Dead Kel awaits. Stay on the trail.
for you. Speak with us. Speak with Akara the Exile. We are the Exile. We did not desire to play the games of men and monsters. So we departed, seeking solace. On this island we took root, and here we first heard the cries of the lost, touched the tears of the broken. Quicklings bear such fragile yearnings. You need guidance. You need protection. Like us, you are exiles. The souls at rest above know nothing. They know only what we reveal. They know what brings them peace, what gives them hope. That is how it was for many passing seasons. But now, all of it must come to an end. We 
are but one branch of the great tree, the ring of Kiyozai, the watchers of our withering world. Only as a god would we be heard, and only as disciples would the people listen. To plant seeds, to inspire hope, to save. That is why we reached out to the quicklings. But look at what our influence has wrought. Such a monster can only be born from power, and power will be the tool to unmake him. That is what we want. The unmaking of dead Kel. We were the Twelve, the sons and daughters of the Lagru, and the branches through which all wisdom whispers. We are the Ring. That is why I created the Scion. You are the vessel through which destruction will finally find dead Kel. That was always the purpose of the blessing. To give one individual the power to end this grievous cycle. Now, do what you came to do. End him. And end us. Think of it as one last offering to a grateful God. Akara will be no more. So, it has come to this. I have nothing left to give you. Nothing but my hate. Nothing. But my blade! From the moment that you crawled across our beaches, Akara has beckoned to you. He has called you by name, through Alder, through the old man Key, and perhaps even through me. In you, Akara can purge himself of any guilt. That is why you must die. Because you have been given all the tools with which to conquer me. But dead Kel does not surrender. The Alpha surprised me. Their war galleys waited just off the coast. Majors at the ready. It was over in seconds. Broken and bloody. I washed into these forgotten caverns and prepared my soul for eternity. It would have been a good place to die. That is when Akara, the fool, took it upon himself to save me. And I had cheated the gallows, you see. I deserved that death in the cavern. And I had won. Spare me your pity. All I want is the power, and that is lost to me yet again. Many have died. What is one more? I am a predator. Killing is what sustains me. But the sea does not judge. It only silences the screams. All I've ever done, I've done to survive. No one knows that truth more than I do. And you believe you are the one who will fix Akara's mistake? No, not like this. I will take what belongs to me, what I should have received in exchange for my free will. I will get it from Akara, or take it from you.
dead camp of Kara will be no more. Alive and with the bright waves out ahead of us. This life, it is all I know. As much as I desire to leave this place, it is my home. And it needs me now more than ever. My mother is dead. My father is broken hearted. There is much to be set right. I saw you coming. The cards spoke to me like they have not in ages. You are the one I was marooned here to find. My path has been made for me. You see, there are few in this world who can truly plot its course. Many try, but all of them fail. Great figures always rise up. Sometimes the gods create them, and sometimes they create the gods. But true heroes are born. Or in your case, reborn. You are the scion now, and you carry with you the blessing of Akara. There is no one on this earth more worthy of being called a god than you. And so I will go. To prepare the way. For when you come, the world changes, and the people must be ready. Return, if you need my sight. 